Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about the median of group data. For large quantities of data, the median is computed using a frequency distribution with cumulative frequency column. So the median is the sum of the lower boundary and the fractional part of the class interval size. So this is the formula in calculating the median of group data. MD is equal to LB of the median class plus the quantity of N over 2 minus less than CF below the median class all over F of the median class times I. Where LB means the lower class boundary, N is the number of cases or observation, less than CF sub B that is the cumulative frequency below the median class, and F sub MD that is the frequency of the median class, and I is the size of the class interval. So let us have example, the scores of students in algebra tests. As you can see, it is arranged using frequency distribution table, where the scores are in terms of class interval, and the respondents are in frequency. So frequency meaning the number of students per class interval. So for 95 to 99, there are 5 students who got the score of 95 to 99. So there are 11 students who got 90 to 94. There are 17 students who got 85 to 89. There are 25 students who got 80 to 84. 20 students who got 75 to 79. 12 students who got 70 to 74. 7 students who got 65 to 69 and 3 students who got the score of 60 to 64. So if we are going to find how many students took the test, just add the frequency. So 5 plus 11, 16, plus 17, that is equal to 33, plus 25, that is 58, plus 20, 78, plus 12, 90, plus 7, 97, plus 3, 100. So there are 100 students who took the test. So N is equal to 100. In some books, the usual given are the scores and the frequency only. So it's up to you what column are you going to add depends on the problem that you are going to solve. Since we are going to solve the median of the frequency distribution table, so we need to add the column of the cumulative frequency less than or less than cumulative frequency. So now let's complete the table. Find the less than cumulative frequency or the values of less than cumulative frequency. When we say less than cumulative frequency, this is the sum of all the frequencies. So less than means we start at the lowest class interval. So the lowest class interval is 60 to 64. Therefore, copy the frequency of this interval that is 3. Then add all the frequencies upward. So 3 plus 7, we have 10. 10 plus 12, we have 22. 22 plus 20, that is equal to 42. 42 plus 25, that is equal to 67. 67 plus 17, that is equal to 84. 84 plus 11, that is equal to 95. And 95 plus 5, that is equal to 100. Take note, the last number of less than cumulative frequency must be the N. So now let us calculate the median of this problem. And to calculate the median, we need to find all the values of this formula. So the LB or the lower class boundary of the median class, N over 2, less than cumulative frequency below the median class, the frequency of the median class, and the interval. So... First step is to find the location of this median class or middle value in less than cumulative frequency. So again, 
let us compute the first step or the location. So that is n over 2. So n over 2 is 100. So 100 n over 2, the first step, that is equal to 100 divided by 2. And that is 50. If you are going to locate 50 in less than cumulative frequency, this is not included in 3, 10, 22, and 42 since these are less than 50. So therefore, 50 is included to 67. So now, the interval class is 80 to 84 and the frequency is 25. So the median class is here. 80 to 84. So let us find the lower class boundary of the median class. The median class is 80 to 84. So since lower class boundary, we use the lower score, which is 80, instead of 84. Then subtract 0 0.5 from this score. 80 minus 0 0.5, therefore the lower class boundary, LB, is 79.5. And then, what is the less than cumulative frequency below the median class? So, cumulative frequency less than or less than cumulative frequency of the median class is 67. Since we're looking for the value below the median class, so below is 42. Therefore, the less than cumulative frequency below is 42. Then, what is the frequency of the median class? Since the median class is 80 to 84. The frequency is 25. So frequency of the median class is 25. So what is the class interval? So class interval is the distance between each row or classes. So what is the distance between 60 to 65? 65 to 70? 70 to 75? 75 to 80? And so on. So I is equal to 5. Or if you count, using this score, 60 to 64, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So I is equal to 5. So now let us solve. Let us substitute all the values of the formula. So lower class boundary of the median class is 79.5. So MD is equal to 79.5 plus the quantity of n over 2 is 50 minus less than cumulative frequency below is 42 all over the frequency of the median class that is 25 times the interval the interval is 5 so now, they write 79.5 since we are using PEMDAS. So solve the fractional part of the class interval. So 50 minus 42, that is 8. Over 25, so that is 8. Over 25 times 5. So meaning, 8. So we can cancel 5 and 25, that is equal to 8 over 5. So 8 divided by 5, that is equal to 1.6. So 79.5 plus 1.6. 79.5 plus 1.6, that is equal to 81.1. 81.1. So therefore, the middle value is... 81.1 and this is correct since it is between 80 to 84 that's it guys thank you for watching i hope you learned from my video and if you learn please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell na all for you to be updated on my latest video goodbye